Alright, what is up? We are back in a new series. This is the Insora Minecraft server. Brand new server I'm on with a bunch of fantastic individuals. Most of which who are doing all Let's Plays also. Now, I kind of got a little bit started here. Just to get in the basics so I don't have to bore you guys with the grinding. Which I kind of hate personally when I'm watching Let's Plays. I always kind of wait a week or two since until they're in a few episodes. But... I want to just give action and the fun stuff, but first of all, I'm going to give a little tour of uh, the spawn as it is now. And I think the main attraction here is let's suppose nice little Zen garden of trees. Sort of doing some museum esque thing here. And let me just like reach my hand in this donkey's ass real quick and see. Oh, oh, oh. No, I want to get off of you. All right. Oh yeah, he's got a fishing rod up his ass. Left eye, Lopez. I think this is Zippo's donkey. We'll read this here. The Lit Zippo commem Commemorative Zen Garden, a place of peace and quiet. Please do not disturb the plans. <clears throat> Fuck you, Cactus. Yeah, take that, Zippo. If we accept any donations, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't think I have much to donate. I'll just take a walk through here. Legit desert temple TNT. This came from a real desert temple. Supposedly. I think this is a map of spawn right now. I see the big carrot up there. Which seems to be the spawn source of nourishment at the moment. And this wall here, actually. Let's just take a look at this. I was just talking to him about this wall. It is amazing. It, it's not it's not anything crazy, but it, it's just a very nice wall. It's a quality wall. If I must say so. Shut up, you ass. Come on. Oh, he looks like he wants to fight. Let's walk away from him. Now, he's got, I think, majority, if not all, of the trees in the new update in here now. I think you may be missing a few. Um, I'm currently going to be settling in a dark forest, which I'll try to show this episode. It seems like a pretty interesting place. So I'm thinking about doing s something kind of cool with it. And this is Fuzzbox's vegetation station. <laughs> it's just <laughs> a giant, amazing carrot of his can be seen throughout spawn. So that's amazing. And I guess it's just full of. Uh, which I have it everywhere. I might as well go down here and take a look. Yeah, nice little farm going on. Pretty interesting. Otherwise, we don't really have any community things in the spawn, to my knowledge. Um, there is a cool little house over here. You probably just heard my Facebook go off. Sorry. How unprofessional of me. The new sunflowers are awesome. Always points east. Is amazing. Oh, here's. Let's see what's in his ass. Hmm. CDs and bones. He's got a bone up his ass. That's for sure. All right. Hmm. Now the new reeds are pretty cool. They'll change colors and biomes. I'm kind of just learning all this as I go now because I didn't really look at any of the updates besides the first snapshot that came out for it. So there's a lot of new stuff, like all these trees. I was not very much aware of. But this is a cool little house. And this is a uh, Zarin Seaside Seaside Shack. It's a mouthful. It looks awesome. Yeah, I love the new stained glass look and I think all these trees actually go together really well. And mm, I might just have to steal a little bit of this design myself in the future because it just looks so cool. Alright. Other than that, we have um, a skeleton XP farm here, which looks pretty awesome also. I'm going to head down here. <clears throat> I don't think... I haven't been in this yet, so I'm not really sure how awesome it is. It's certainly pretty far down, though. So I commemorate whoever actually found this thing. <laughs> 
Oh jeez. This is a trick. Let's see. Oh, I have a tenderizer. That looks really nice. Oh, by Lauren. That's who did it. Oh, that's fantastic. That's actually fantastic. Hmm. I'm guessing putting bows in here and all sorts. I'm actually gonna take one bow. Just to make everything nice and neat. Oh, crack. Um. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this now because it's gonna bother me if I don't. We get two of these. Yep. Cause a catastrophe. Put that there and that there. Now everything is zen. What is MG doing out there? God. Hmm. Some arrows. I would expect one of these chests to have arrows in them. Unless they don't. Okay. This area's over here. Right? Uh, do I have bones on me? That's all I have. I'm wondering if they have bears in me. It's not. Can't. Huh. <laughs> Um, well, I'm thinking I'm going to wait a little bit before I enchant anything, but I guess I'll head right up back up here. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is head over to my house and show you guys my game plan for building. So, I'm going to walk out here and I will be right back. Alright, we're back and we're here in my home area. I've kind of started a sort of path here and I've got a few things done. Um, I have another portal that links towards spawn and I have <laughs> my old shack which I tore down and I'm starting my sort of cabin thing. And I want to make it so it's a little bit higher than these trees so it kind of reaches up a little bit. And I'm not really 100% sure on the style I want to use. But I'm going to figure out that out probably the next episode. I might head into creative for a bit and try some things out. But um, for now, I've got a little bit of a path and I'm going to change up even more once I get a horse. Because they seem to have trouble with this kind of rugged area. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of mobs around here, as you can see. Oh, there's people behind you. That's pleasant. Ah, uh, okay. Um, you die, please. Okay, is that it? Is that everything? Let me light this up a little bit more. So, I plan to meet up with a couple people next episode, mainly Zippo, to get a few saplings. I'm gonna try to incorporate a different types of wood in my build. As to make everything aesthetically pleasing as possible. I'm gonna have to eat this front flesh right now. I'm low on food, so I should probably make some sort of fun. My goal uh, hold on. Die. More of you suckers? Okay. <laughs> My goal is to have a central home here and then branch off on different pathways and build a house for food and supplies and building materials and such and have just have little community spread around here in this enclosed biome 
I just think because of how it is, it would be pretty neat to do that. Although, <laughs> I'll have to build things first and see how it looks. And I think I'm going to do some sort of water mill in this little pond here. If I can make something that looks very nice. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the series and leave a like or a comment if you do because that makes me very happy. And if you really want to watch more of it, you can always subscribe. But I'm going to have to head out for today. Sorry this is a short episode. I'm going to try to make the future ones 20 plus minutes long, but I have plans today. I just wanted to get this one done so you guys can see some basic things and know how my series is going to be played out. Anyways, have a great day guys. I'll see you next time.